Hey guys, hope you're all doing good. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining the term computational combustion. To put it in a very simple manner, simulating combustion by solving some important mathematical equations on a computer is what you call as computational combustion. So how does it work in more detail? The first thing that you need to know is what we call as chemical kinetics. When chemical reactions take place, they follow a particular pattern which depends on the pressure, temperature and the local air and fuel mixture. Right? Now based upon this, the path of the chemical reaction can completely change. Documenting this path so that we can identify the reactions and the species that get formed is what you call as the study of chemical kinetics. Such a file that contains all the reactions and species is what you call as a reaction mechanism file. That is the first thing that you will need in order to run a combustion simulation. Once you have this, you need to make sure that your reaction mechanism is consistent with the fuel that you are using. After that, you just have to set up your simulation, make sure that you have the right equivalence ratio, which basically describes how your air fuel mixture compares with an ideal mixture or a stoichiometric mixture. I hope through this video, you understood the term computational combustion and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.